Welcome back! We are going to talk about processing unit, computer processing unit, CPUs. Are you wasting money, spending too much money on a CPU? Maybe. This is luckily a part of the whole computing building aspect where people has opened their eyes a little bit. Is that they are becoming more aware of not spending too much money or going with a certain kind of line of CPUs for their gaming computer, whatever they are building. So most people, most people, if you want like, a, let's say a computer can last you a few years and can do your gaming and can do everything you kind of want. The rule of thumb is go with an i5 of Intel or, 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 or Ryzen R5. That's kind of, you know, the mid tier they have. They're not that massively expensive and they will be really good for gaming and everything. It's like a really, really good rule of thumb recommendation. If you're not gaming and doing heavy creativity stuff and stuff like that, you would be, yeah, if you're just web browsing and what have you not, you may need like an Intel, they're they going to be called core, but I don't know, Intel i3 kind of nature thing you know go with the i3 versions of of intel or, or the amd equivalent if you're just going to do like uh, this is just going to be a web browsing thing it's just going to be like a casual kind of thing and if you're going like i'm going to develop on this i'm going to render on it i'm going to go full blown fucking you know computer scientist on you may need like an i7 i9 or r7 r9 on the intel amd side sorry but here's the thing you still can save a little bit of money because it, it, it kind of don't make lots of sense, a lot of sense to buy an overclockable CPU if you're not going to overclock, especially on the Intel side. There is a caveat. It is that the overclockable Intel CPUs tend to come with a higher stock boost uh, or clock speed. So they're already a little bit overclocked from the factory, so to speak. And on the AMD side, there's not that much difference between like an, an R5 7700 and an R5 7700X. 7700X. Not that much difference. So you, you have to ask yourself, am I going to overclock? Yes or no? If you're not going to overclock, then don't buy overclockable CPUs and overclockable motherboards and stuff like that. I have a video about that either coming or already being there depending on when this comes up. So that's that's kind of like if you're going with like, a, let's just let's just go like Ryzen. Let's go with the Ryzen 7600. Uh, what do we have here? That's a 5700. We have one here. Do they have the... the Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's used. You, you can see the specs here. And then if we're going with... Uh, do I need to search that one? Yeah, I need to search that one. And then we have an X here. And we go down here and we look at the specs. You get like a a, a good boost in, in operating frequency and stuff like that. But the, the fun part is, with the at least with the Ryzen series, if you want to overclock, you can overclock all the CPU. So you have to think about that. But like, like I said, think about what do I need? Do I do I want to overclock? E even so, here, here here's what I let me put it how I will recommend it. If you're going AMD, buy the X series anyway. You're not paying that much extra for the X mark on it. It's almost negligible how much extra you're buying for it. I can't remember this. This one here is like 250. What's the other? What was the other one? At 226, and you're getting like a one gigahertz operating f uh, frequency, base frequency. Buy the X one. <laughs> you know, that, that's what I tell people. If 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 you if you think or if you need a 5000 C or an R R5 series from AMD, just buy the X ones. Base frequency is higher and stuff like that, and they cost twenty dollars more or something like that. Just just buy that one. On Intel, I would go a little bit like, yeah, but are you going to overclock or not? Because there's the price difference can be somewhat big between a, a K and non K process. Then you can also get the ones without uh, onboard graphic uh, cards in them and stuff like that, like the KF series. I think they call under Intel. So you can look into that also to get that extra boost in, in base clock and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with buying an overclockable CPU and not overclock it. It's just like, do, do you justify that extra money for buying a, a CPU with a higher base clock and stuff like that, that is a little bit more powerful than the non-overclockable one out of the... Is it worth you spending that extra money? On AMD, it's almost like it's stupid not to do it. <laughs> like 20 25 dollars extra for an L, uh, x series and getting a, a you know a, a boost in, in in performance that's one gigahertz in base clock yeah i i will i will i will buy this one that's actually what i did i bought this one i actually have this one in my computer right now and it, it boosts up to 
five points three thirty four thirty five when I'm really you know yanking it to the gills. You see here, yeah, fifty dollars, so twenty four more dollars. Yeah, buy an X series on 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 um, AMD, and that that's how you should look at it. Figure out what are you doing with your computer with a CPU, and then okay, what compute what. CPU family do I need as an i3, i5, i7, i9. Most people, most even most content creators and live streamers only need like a high-end i5 or, or R5 series uh, CPUs. I've been living on a rising R5 since the, they got released, doing all of this shit here, rendering, streaming, all of these kind of things, gaming, recording gaming, all of that I've done on Ryzen 5 series CPUs. Would it benefit me as a content creator to get like an R7, R9 with more cores? Yeah, for the software that I use to render videos with, it will because it's heavily CPU bound. That may not be your case. But I will say that luckily enough, uh, content creators on YouTube, they, this is one part where they have been really, 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 really good at conditioning their viewers to not pay too little or too much for CPUs. I wish they did the same and put the same points across with motherboards, power supplies. See you all later. Bye bye.